We just seen how to temper by hand manually on the table, the old-fashioned way. And now I'm going to explain you another way of tempering, tempering with a magic temper. How do we, we do? So I will repeat why we temper. We temper to our chocolate, which is appealing, snappy, shiny, retractation when we do molds, uh, higher resistance to melting. We have action only on the cocoa butter, only really when we temper dark white or milk chocolate is only on the cocoa butter. And when we temper, we want the definition is to have inside the liquid mass enough quantity of the quality crystals I'm looking for, which is the phase number five of the beta. So for that, what is a magic temper? So it's a magic machine. Now it has five years, has been developed by Statis Tempering, which is a company based in France, Besançon, small city, maybe two hours by train from Paris, two and a half hours. And uh, they collaborate with uh, famous uh, technologues, someone who worked for 25, 30 years in the industry, in order to bring the batch tempering process to us, the craftsmen, which is uh, how we can temper any masses which contain cocoa butter. So chocolate, praline, ganaches, even caramel, chocolate mousse. How can we do that? Using the property of cocoa butter, which is polymorph. What does polymorph mean? Poly, many, morph, face. So cocoa butter has many phases. I will stick to the, to the model where there are six phases of crystals. Now some studies, some scientists have found that there is maybe only four or five, but I will stick to six. So those six phases are for the unstable one to the most stable, which is the number six. We just aim as pastry chef and chocolatiers for something appealing to the phase number five. If you go too high, then if in the microscope it's perfect for us, for our eyes, it's not really perfect. We have, you all have seen those grainy bars with white dots and so on, which looks all, almost like mold. This is uh, like uh, wrong tampering, which is we have melt the crystals we are aiming for the phase five and we go to the phase six. So for that, in order to have this, the machine, you will buy any cocoa butter which is already tempered. So the main major actor of cocoa butter sell you the cocoa butter either in pellets or in block, but the block has been tempered or is old enough when it reaches you to be tempered. So as far as it didn't melt, don't melt the cocoa butter, leave to set and put inside the machine, it won't work. But if you take a block cocoa butter, you put inside the machine, and the machine is uh, thermoregulated by an algorithm, and that al algorithm will just melt, not melt, will just warm the cocoa butter up to the point it stays into a cream. That stage of cream is really few degrees Celsius, because if you are too low, it will be hard, and if you are too high, it will be liquid. In that cream, most of the cocoa butter is composed of those crystals. Because we have succeeded, because cocoa butter is, we can spend hours talking of cocoa butter, but I will make it short. Uh, the difference between the melted cocoa butter and the solid cocoa butter is either 80, 20, but in that case, we have invert, because the curve of uh, melting of the cocoa butter is like that. And we are just at the end where we have 80% melted, 20% solid. And that combination makes a nice paste we all know and we love, because with that paste, we'll be able to seed any masses. You all know the tempering by seeding. So by seeding, you have chocolate melted. You have two thirds melted at 50 Celsius, maybe. One third non-melted one third, which is tempered actually, because you take from the bag, and all the makers sell you the chocolate tempered, and you will seed with uh, crystals of cho the tempered chocolate inside your liquid mass. You will stir, praying that all my chocolate is melted, and then you will have tempered chocolate because you are adding the crystals. The magic temper does that actually. We always have, for the purpose of the of the demonstration, I'm using piping bags, but you can use, of course, the cocoa butter directly inside, and you use a scraper to put it. So here I have my cocoa butter, which is UV-treated cocoa butter and deodorized. That's why it's white, but that's cocoa butter. You see, I have a nice paste. My paste is always ready, always on. The fiability of the machine is there. You plug it, six hours later, you have your cream. 
and then it will just making the cream again and again and again. So uh, easy to use. It can stay months like that, even if we use chocolate every day, so it doesn't have time to stay months. In my case, I'm doing demonstration, so I didn't use for a while. It stayed maybe inside the machine two or three months. You just leave it plugged all the time. It's 12 volt and uh, really, really, really easy to, uh, to have it. What I'm going to do is because it has keep the crystals. So the machine works in three steps. It uses two of the tampering method. One of the tampering method is, so I take my cocoa butter, which is already tempered, I put inside, and the machine will just warm in order to keep those crystals. You could do the same with chocolate if you are trained and really, really precise. In the microwave, you put your chocolate inside, and you just melt the chocolate going not higher than 33.5. And if you can keep your chocolate melted and below 33.5, you know that you kept the crystals, I would say alive, but you understand they're not alive, but just I would say present. You didn't melt all the other crystals and you have a tempered chocolate. So it's possible to do it with any kind of chocolate, white, milk, dark, or others. If you don't go to higher than 33, yes, you heard me well, we can have tempered chocolate white chocolate at 33 Celsius without any problem if you do that method. But that's really tricky, really challenging, and we, you really have to pay attention because 0.3 Celsius and your tempering is gone because your crystals are gone. While with the magic temper is safe, I can add all the time. And then once my crystals, my paste is ready, I will use it to seed my masses. So before I was creating the crystals and uh, melting, making the curve challenging, now you will see it's really easy to temper. I need to have my chocolate for that, any kind of chocolate, white, milk, dark, between 30 Celsius, degrees Celsius, and 32 degrees Celsius. If you have a precise thermometer like mine, you can be over 33, 33.5, not higher than the chocolate, because than the, your chocolate, not higher than the cocoa butter, because you understand well that if your cocoa butter, you add it inside here, and this, higher, the temperature of the chocolate is higher than the chocolate, of course it will melt. So, and if it's too cold, we will have lumps. Same temperature, you will see stirring really easy, the seeding works really nicely. So I will take the temperature of my chocolate because I talked a lot. It was at the right temperature at the beginning, but it's not now. And as always, so it's 29 Celsius, so you see, but I'm a bit too cold. And as always, the best way is I really repeat, I really stress on that because that's really something I don't want to see anymore, is people who stir the chocolate before heating. Don't forget the chocolate machine heat, but stir first. So I will, on this side, heat the side, the top, the bottom, and the spatula as well. And now I can mix. Check my temperature. So tempering with the magic temper is as easy as checking the temperature, scaling 1% and mixing. My daughter with 10 does bar, chocolate bars perfectly with this way. So now I'm 31.7.9, 32. And I repeat now, I'm using 32, so that's really good. I'm using dark chocolate, but I could use milk chocolate or white chocolate exactly the same way. Really, doesn't matter. I have 800 grams of chocolate. 800 grams of chocolate, 1% will be 8 grams. Don't tell 80. And then up. So you see I have a nice paste. I repeat, I use the piping bag just for the demonstration purpose, but it's better if you do large production to fill the machine full of cocoa butter, because three kilo, you can do, you count well, yes, or up to 300 grams of tempered masses if you add 1%. So that's a big tempering machine. And now, I will stir really well in order to make the seeding happening really nicely everywhere. So 
a little minute. And now my chocolate is tempered. My table is clean. It was really quick to do. And anyone can do and can repeat the same tempering. Because today I'm using one person, which is a general use. But if I want to do, for example, a bar, which is thick, so I will put less, I will put 0.5%. If I want to seed, for example, my uh, masses to do a chablon, a thin layer of chocolate under a ganache, for example, I will put less, maybe 0.3, 0.4%. If for one reason, for one utilization, I realize that 0.7, 0.8% is perfect for me to seed my mass to have the perfect seed, uh, setting with my conditions, I'm able to do it. So what is good with this is anyone can repeat the same tampering over and over. And if I switch operator, that operator, if he scales well, both, good temperature, can repeat as well the same operation. While today is Nicola who tempers, so it's good. Maybe tomorrow Nicola won't be in a good mood or will be a bit tired, and the tempering will be less good. With the magic temper, always the same. And the main interest you will see in other videos will be to temper praline at really higher temperature. We'll be able to temper praline at 28, 29 Celsius. And ganaches, you will see that the white chocolate ganaches, they set within two or three hours, while normally it takes a day if we don't see the, the masses. So my chocolate is tempered. Viscosity rheology for the chocolate we talk is always the same if it's a non-tempered chocolate or a tempered chocolate. Just as always, you make a test, even if I don't need to make a test, I know it, just to show you. And it will, I will let it to set about two minutes at room temperature, and it should be uh, set nice and appealing. So after a few minutes, my chocolate has set, as you can see, nice and shiny. You can see my fingerprint here. So now I will be able to use a chocolate for anything. And as always, I, always, I, all, I will stress on this many times. You see, I want to stir. Side, top, spatula, bottom. And now I can stir. Tempering with the magic temper by seeding method on the table will be exactly the same in terms of keeping the chocolate tempered. So hope you enjoy it and now let's go for the next lesson. <laughs>